Okay, you guys, I know this is a whole new vlog. <laughs> this is the end of the day that I ended the last vlog on when I was tired after working on this room. Refresh. Can't really call it a remodel. Maybe a redecorate, but it's more of a refresh. And I'm about to take this makeup off and I'm going to try to take it off without having to rip my lashes off. So this is gonna take a little bit of time and precision. So I thought I would do that <laughs> with you guys. I'm going to use some Q-tips, some makeup remover, some wipes, um, and maybe some of these little rounds. I don't know. Whatever gets the, cause my main concern is the eye makeup. Everything else is easy, um, which I'll do in the bathroom, but yeah so i just figured i'd do that with you guys and just check in say hey before i take a shower and go to bed tonight but how have you guys been okay how are y'all doing like what's good what's gucci what's tea <laughs> okay now so I'm going in with a Q-tip and I'm getting some of this makeup remover. Hopefully I don't like hurt my eye. But what have y'all been up to? Okay, cause um, I would say that I live a pretty somewhat tedious, um, monotonous life. I don't do a whole lot. And it's like, that's why sometimes I be hesitant to vlog because I guess to some people, maybe I do do a lot because I do like to travel. I do like to get out and, you know, I do like to, you know, like vacation, spend time with friends and stuff like that. I do, you know, and I do that a few times a year, you know, some might say several times a year, but I definitely do it. Um, probably more than some people. That wasn't too bad. Um, but I can feel that, feel that makeup remover, like, burning my eye a little bit. But, um, yeah, so it's like, and with me being more of a kind of, you know, to myself, a little more reserved type personality, I really don't feel comfortable just like being out in public, um, how can I say, filming and just talking to a camera by myself, you know what I'm saying? It's even like odd for me sometimes when I'm doing it with my husband, but you know, I feel a little more comfortable because at least I'm talking not only to you guys, but my husband as well. But you would think, you know, in today's, you know, day and age society, whatever, you know, people would be used to vloggers. <laughs> you know, you used to people just sitting there talking to a camera and nobody else is around and they having a full on conversation, you know, like I'm doing right now, but in public. But it's like people will stare you down and will look at you like you are crazy. And even when you're in stores, you know, when we're trying to get content uh, for you guys in stores and you know, filming us shopping and things like that. Just having a camera out in general just draws attention. And so if you're not one who cares about, you know, people staring at you when you're doing stuff, then, you know, you'll be an excellent vlogger. <laughs> but I'm not that type of person. Me, on the other hand, I don't like nobody looking at me. I don't like nobody staring at me. I don't like nobody trying to figure out what I'm doing. Like... Mind your business, okay? So, anyway. I mean, I actually really, really love to vlog. And would love to vlog. I bought these eyebrows too. Would love to vlog um, a lot more things, you know, to share with you guys. But, yeah, uh, I'm shy, okay? <laughs> No, I'm not shy. I'm just kind of private and reserved. And it's kind of like when you're vlogging, you know, you have to kind of not really care. You can't really have that type of personality when you're vlogging because, honey, 
people are gonna stare and they're gonna be up in your business. So I don't know. It's easy to vlog at home because you're in the privacy of your own home. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't nobody paying no attention to you. Can't nobody see what you're doing. Don't nobody see you talking to a camera looking crazy. <laughs> you know, so it's very easy to vlog when you are at home by yourself or with your family or whatever. Who doesn't care? You know, so I don't know if I can ever get over feeling self-conscious I guess about vlogging in public then I probably will end up vlogging a lot more things like vlogging for me like when I've vlogged me and my husband going on cruises and stuff like that's different because it's like when you're out on vacation people kind of expect you to have your camera and to be taking video and pictures and stuff all the time so that's not really as big of a deal as if you you know, are just vlogging, walking down the street. So it's easy for me to do the vlogs and stuff when we are on cruises as well. So um, those are fun to do. And I think that my vlog style for cruises, why is my nose running? My vlog style for cruises and stuff, I think, People like to watch those because I really vlog like every single detail, everything. I vlog, you know, from us <laughs> before we even get on the ship to, you know, before the ship takes off, the room, everything. So if you haven't watched any of my cruise vlogs and you're interested in cruising or taking trips and stuff like that, you might enjoy it because they are pretty informative. <laughs> as far as how it is when you cruise or, you know, when you go to certain ports and visit certain, you know, different tropical locations, if you will. <laughs> um, this lash, this first lash right here, because I'm rubbing it quite a bit to get that shimmer off, that one might end up coming off, but Looks like the other ones are kind of really holding on pretty well, to be honest <laughs> with you, for, you know, the type of lashes they are. It looks like they're trying to hold on, child. They're trying to hold on. So, that's not, that wasn't too bad. I think using the Q-tip to get most of the shimmer off was kind of a good move. But yeah, so I would love to, I mean, especially living in Vegas, you know, I would love to just, um go to different restaurants and stuff and different shows and different attractions and stuff out here just to kind of, you know, give my personal thoughts and opinions on it for people who want to visit Vegas or even just for you guys, you know, if you're interested. But child, I got to get past this, uh, Fear of people looking at me. <laughs> I got to get past that. Okay. So I'm getting the most out of this one wipe. Okay. Trying to get all this makeup off my face with this one wipe before I wash it. But anyway, yeah. So I definitely would do more vlogging than you know, beauty videos, obviously, um, I kind of, you guys, you know, if you haven't realized it yet, I really do like to vlog just as much, if not more so at this stage in my life than doing makeup videos. Because for one, I don't really feel like people like makeup videos like they used to. I just feel like things have changed, which is normal. It's natural for things to change. That's the natural um, you know, thing that happens in life, but I still love makeup. <laughs> I still love it, love it, love it. But I want to share more of my life with my followers more so than just, um, you know, beauty content. Cause that's just one aspect of my life. 
I like to do a lot of other things. <laughs> More so than makeup, quite honestly. Most of the time, I'm not even wearing makeup. I'm not an everyday makeup wearer. Never have been, except for when I was really filming super heavy. You know, it was just natural for me to have makeup on all the time. But now, not so much. So, yeah. Looks like I got pretty much most of the eye makeup off to the point where I can wash my face and just be gentle around my eyes <laughs> so that I don't rip them off while I'm washing my face. But I've worn these lashes before now, you know, a few times, so I'm pretty familiar with them. And the good thing is it's not a big deal if I do end up losing a lash like this one right here because I'm really trying to get that makeup off. It probably will come off. Um, the good news is all I got to do is pop it back on with some glue. <laughs> I don't have to go pay $50 to a lash tech to fill in my lashes. You feel me? <laughs> so, yeah. But anyway, so that's that, you guys. I just wanted to kind of sit down, chit-chat with you. A little bit while I took off my eye makeup just to kind of see if I could do it without ripping these lashes off and I did so you definitely have to have patience to do it this way but if you don't want to have to take your lashes off every single time you take your eye makeup off you kind of have no choice because <laughs> They're glued on there really good with the seal and everything, but you got to be careful taking them eye makeup off. So anyway, I'm going to go wash my face completely and go to bed and I will see you guys in the next clip. Don't really know exactly where I left off at in my beauty room, but right now I have a lot of palettes in this one cabinet over here. Let me show you guys. I just have you guys on a tripod right now, but... This cabinet over here, um, as you can see, there's a lot of palettes in there. I have um, like Beauty Bay, other Sample Beauty, um, more Beauty Bay. I have some Car Beauty, miscellaneous um, indie brands, some Glam Lights. Julia's place in the back where you can't even really see all of them. You can see some of them. And then I have a lot of Pat McGrath over here. This shelf is like all brushes. So I'm not doing anything with that. But what I did was I cleaned out this drawer down here. This drawer had like just a bunch of junk. It was like a beauty room junk drawer. So I had, you know, like tripods, headphones, a lot of cords all kind of stuff in here but i cleared this out so now there's nothing in here because i want pat mcgrath my pat mcgrath palettes to have its own little area so i'm gonna put my pat mcgrath palettes in let me see if i sorry this drawer here and you know they can just lay nice and neat in there and she can have her own little spot if there's any extra room, because I think at one while I did have my Pat McGrath and my Juvia's Place in one of these drawers. So I might try to fit both of the black owned brands in here. So we'll see, but that's what I'm doing right now. Um, I just kind of took some time to empty this drawer out, wipe it down and all that stuff. So. I'm about to organize and then I have some palettes in here that I took off of my shelf that I was kind of using for um you know decor like the cute little glam light palettes that are shaped like the Hers Hershey Kiss K Kisses I cannot talk child it's not even early in the morning it's almost four o'clock in the afternoon I'm getting such a late start today <laughs> and I cannot talk okay but anyways, um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. But I'm not sure, like, the reason why I had these, like, ZC palettes and stuff out as decor is because they're so pretty. 
you know look how pretty the packaging is but since i'm staying pretty true to my pink and black i really feel like i need to find somewhere to put these like look at this that's so pretty but anyway yeah i'll figure something out so that's what i'm doing right now um and you guys can hang out with me while i do this um and you know just kind of hang out and chill with me while i go through my pat mcgrath palettes and probably go down memory lane to be honest with you oh maybe pat mcgrath and danessa myricks now that's a good combination to put in this drawer yeah i think i'm gonna do that so hold on a second i need to get my brain together you know what that's what's wrong with me i haven't eaten anything today i got up got started doing stuff took a shower you know washed my hair um you know redid my clip-ins and i have not eaten anything today that's why i feel so freaking tired and listless aside from the fact that i'm old you know but other than that <laughs> I need to eat some lunch or something because it's like four o'clock. It's almost dinner time. Ciao. Anyway, after I have a snack, I'll come back and then we'll go ahead and rearrange these palettes. Okay, you guys. My acai bowl is here from Smoothie King. So let's check it out. Make sure it looks delectably delicious because your girl is starving. And I'm feeling weak and woozy. <laughs> the dramatics, right? But I decided I wanted to just sit here while I have my... Okay. For the most part, it's looking decent. Hold on. Take all these stickers off. Okay. It's looking pretty good. I don't know if you can see that, but it has the bananas and the strawberries and the granola. Cover my lights. And the cocoa nibs in there. So it's actually looking pretty good. But I decided I wanted to have my acai bowl while I went through and looked at my palace. But the only problem with that is I don't want to get acai and cocoa nibs all over my Pat McGrath palettes. <laughs> so therein lies the problem. This is what it looks like. The one that I like. It has the granola, the cocoa nibs, the bananas, the strawberries. Ugh. Make you feel like you're eating something healthy, but Lord only knows. How many calories this thing got in it? Mm. But it's magically delicious. Okay, you guys. So I got my shelves neater at least. I still have too many Beauty Bay palettes. So that's why I have some up here. Because I have run out of space. But probably if I reorganize and refreak the shelf... I could probably make it fit, but I really, really like the aesthetically pleasing look of things fitting perfectly. So when I have palettes that have to be in front of other palettes, it bothers me, but such is life, right? <laughs> so I was able to put my ZC palettes in here and keep them in this cute little tray. So I like that as well as these, um, what is it? Ah. Glam light. I kept wanting to say glam shop. Glam light palettes, which really are supposed to go down here because I have oh, it's like a combination of Morphe, BH Cosmetics, and Glam Shop down here. So I really need to reorganize that whole section so I can put <sighs> anyway. <laughs> y'all I'm so tired I'm sorry but anyway I have some you know my cute little glam light palettes the Hershey Kisses and then I have the drink palettes in the back and then these are all Juvia's Place so those are all Juvia's Place so it's like that shelf I feel looks really neat and it's very aesthetically pleasing to me I 
love it. I love the way it looks. You know, whereas before I had like a bunch of Pat McGrath's shoved in here with the Nessa Myricks, with the Uma Beauty. It was just, it was too much. So now, y'all don't look at my brushes. They just, it's crazy. But anyway, that's my brush <laughs> shelf. And now this is the drawer where I gave Pat McGrath her own little section. So as you can see, got the motherships all in there in order, in line. I believe if they not, don't clock me, okay. Got my little Star Wars holiday palettes. And then these are the only small palettes that I have from her. And then I have my Demessa. My, <laughs> Demessa. Child, just go to bed. Just turn off the camera and go to bed. <laughs> my Danessa Myricks and I have my Uma Beauty so I'm happy about that and there is a little bit of room in there if I ever happen to buy another palette so that is that nice and neat went ahead and organized that so I feel good about that I accomplished something today okay might not have been much but your girl accomplished something so that is this cabinet here and I'm very very pleased so yeah we will move on eventually I know some people have asked me to do like a palette collection video and it's like child do you know if you watched any of my palette collection videos that I did years ago it's like it's a lot okay and even though I've decluttered and gotten rid of a lot of palettes I've also still purchased a lot of palettes since I did that so I know that it's a daunting task, not something that I look forward to. But these shelves can be organized better for sure. Definitely for sure. You know, um, my beloved indie brands are like all throughout here um, mixed in with, you know, like these are Sephora Pro palettes. But the rest of these I think are indie. These are all melt right here. These are colored rain. These, um, you know, are some Odin's Eye. There's a couple of colored rain over here, actually, that belong over there. See, that's what bothers me is when I don't have my brands all grouped together. That really bothers me. So I'll have to figure that out and get it together. So we'll probably be organizing these shelves together. And when I do those, then I guess, you know, you guys can see my palette collection then. Um, and this cabinet, the one that I just put in over here, I can probably go through those palettes as well. So anywho, that's it, you guys. That's it uh, for today. You know, <sighs> your girl is tired. I'm going to take a nap. Just text, I know it's a toss. Oh, but I hate the fact that we lost such a The Uber pulling up on call. Tell me, is you trying to fall through? I'ma leave it up to you. What you wanna do? Look, I'm trying to spend this time with you. No, we overdo what you're doing right now. Right now. Baby, won't you swing my way? It's been a day and I've been thinking all oh, long. I know I want you. Long time since the last time. Got a tab, we could run up. Knew you from the way, now we grown up. My look, yeah, made the realest ones nervous. But if you want it, tap in. Now I'm paid by the sentence Taking my time with it Baby, give me yours So I could get some butterflies trapped in your rib cage. Let me know we on the same page Give me with a text, voice, note, or an emoji Waiting on day for your name on the ID So if you want it, tap in I think that I know somewhere that we could go to crash in And we could keep the pace on slow Can we go back where we first began? No plans, all we have is
was the moment To text, I know it's a toss up Good morning, you guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, yeah, I just got an order from Elf. I was on the Elf website. I was looking for something specific. I don't even remember what I was looking for on there. I think, is it a new foundation they came out with? I don't know, but I ended up grabbing a couple of other bits and bobs while I was on their website that I didn't need, of course, but stuff that got my attention. And so I got my package in my mailbox and I went to go get it this morning so I could open it with you guys. But of course, I'm getting my morning started with my coffee. This is a cute little Ghirardelli coffee or Ghirardelli chocolate mug I got from the Ghirardelli shop down here. And it's so cute. I like it. It reminds me of like one of those little camping mugs, you know, the metal ones, but it's coffee in here, not hot chocolate. So anyway, I want to open this package and I ordered a brush. I ordered a foundation brush from Amazon because I guess when I did my brush declutter, um, shoot, it's been couple years now since I decluttered my brushes I think I couldn't find out one of just your basic flat foundation brushes and I know that in the past I never used them because I you know prefer to use a sponge but you know recently I decided I wanted to go ahead and try using just a regular foundation brush and see how I like it so I ordered this from Amazon because I wanted one quick next day and this one is from Eco Tools. Sorry about the glare. I have my window, my blinds open. But this is what the box looks like. And it's just a regular flat top brush, foundation brush. It says for a smooth and flawless base. They're clean. Anyway. Yeah, clean beauty, clean planet. So. But this is what the brush looks like. Oh, I like it. So it's just a regular little flat brush, you know, for foundation application. So I'm excited to use this. Yeah, I never really was fond of like using brushes and stuff to put on my foundation, but it's time for me to try something different. You know, you gotta mix it up sometimes. So I ordered that from Amazon. I think it was only like five bucks. It was real affordable. I think it was like four something. I don't know. But I'm opening up my e.l.f. package. So you guys can see. Oh, dang. It's more in here than I thought it was. I'm like, I ordered just a couple of bibs and bobs. Child, what is this? This is a whole little e.l.f. haul, okay? I'll be doing the most. But like I said, I really do not be buying makeup like I used to so well this I think you know how they be giving away free gifts because I know I didn't buy this I already have this this is the elf poreless putty primer I already have that so I know for sure I didn't buy that that must have been a free gift so yeah and I like it so I can always use that let me put my glasses on um this I definitely did buy because I know I like the elf blushes but 
I must have decluttered a lot of them, which I didn't have a lot actually. There's one that was really, really a favorite of mine. I can't think of the name of it now, but it's kind of like a warm, earthy, corally shade. Love that one. So I'm sure I still have that one, but I wanted to grab this shade, which is, what shade is this chair? Always tempting, always tempting. So that's what this shade looks like and that's really really pretty yeah that's definitely i need to close these blinds because child that's definitely a really really pretty shade um but sometimes i like to just use a natural light you know from my window so this is one of the things that i wanted to try as well this is the elf stay cool primer stick so it's just like a you know, primer stick. I guess you just rub it on your face. But it says here that it's a hydrator. Gel primer stick that delivers a refreshing burst of hydration and preps the skin for makeup. Ooh, okay. So excited to try that. Let's see what else did your girl get? Okay, so here's another stick. This one, it doesn't have no label on there. Okay, e.l.f. Daily Dew Stick in Tangerine Kiss. So this has tangerine oil. And so that's what this one looks like. And this one says, bring out your best features with a dewy lit from within glow. Cool and refreshing. The highlighter gives a sheer wash of pearlescent color. You can use with makeup or makeup free. So that's what this is for. I guess it just gives you a nice lit from within glow. Well, I'm excited to try this. Okay, what else did we get? What else did your girl grab? Oh, I got some new lip liners I wanted to try because I'm real particular when it comes to my lip liners. And so um, I wanted to grab these from e.l.f. Two different colors because, you know, super inexpensive. I think these were like two bucks, two bucks each. So this first one is plum and get <laughs> plum and get it ah, that's cute so that's the shade on this plum and get it that's really pretty and then the other one i grabbed was dark cocoa so this is one that um i would hope is like the molasses one that i love from sephora you know just a basic dark brown let me put my phone on silent for a second just a basic dark brown lip liner so I'm going to see. I don't, you know, really care for lip liners that I have to sharpen and stuff, but I'm going to try it out, honey, for $2. Can't beat that. <laughs> um, let's see here. Elf Big Mood. I think I got this free as well. If not free, um, yeah, I think they allowed me to choose like two free items. So this is the Elf Big Mood Mascara. Hourglass Brush. And it's black, of course. So just this mascara. I don't know if you guys have tried this. Let me know if you like it or not, you know? So they gave me that. I think it's one of my free items. This one, this one I think I ordered. Did they give me any other free items? What is this? I think this was a, yeah, this was a free item as well. That's what I like about e.l.f. They'll send, throw in like some free samples. You could pick two free samples or whatever. Y'all, I'm not nude. I got on some clothes. That's why I hate with these tube tops. You know, it's like, I got on clothes, y'all. Anyway, this is a triple acid resurfacing serum. So I'm like, this might be a little scary to use. But they gave me this cute little sample. You know, just as a reference, I'll show you how small it is. But it's cute. And I don't know. When I, out of the different things that you could choose from, I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and try that. Because I've never tried it. Triple Acid Resurfacing Serum. So y'all let me know. Is this going to make my face like peel and look crazy and everything? Or is it just like a mild, um, you know resurfacing serum i don't know but we gonna try it though hello this is one of the items that i purchased the elf jelly pop glow Re reviver lip oil oh that's pretty juicy splash of shimmer i didn't know it had shimmer in it but this is what this one looks like isn't that pretty can you guys see that shimmer in there there we go isn't that pretty 
Child. I have something on my lips already, but that is pretty. Let me take it out and take a look. Okay. Oh, yeah. That is pretty. But I never tried one of their lip oils. It has a scent to it. I don't know. It just smells like something fruity or juicy or something. Oh, it feels good. Yeah, that feels nice. I like that. I could throw that in my purse. I don't remember how much I paid for this, but if it's, uh, f you know, like really inexpensive, I'll grab a, grab a couple more just to keep. Because I like to throw stuff like that in my purse when my lips get dry, you know. Okay, so I also got this Blemish Breakthrough Acne Treating Body Mist. It's 2% salicylic acid. Acne treatment with 2% niacinamide tea tree extract. So I grabbed this because I was like, you know what? I really like Elf's like acne treating um, products. I have, shoot, this little stick. I keep this thing. Let me see if I can grab it. But I keep this thing like in all of my bathrooms. I have one in my um have one in my travel kit, you know, so I have these all over the place. This is the Elf Skin Acne Fighting Spot Gel. So like whenever I break out, like I'll tend to, like I have a couple of breakouts right now on my chin or, you know, if I just have a pimple pop up somewhere, I'll just use this because it's a rollerball. It's so easy, you know, and quick. I just use this, pop it on that pimple and then, you know, in a day or two or whatever, it's gone, honey. So, yeah, these from e.l.f., they work really, really well for me as far as, like, fighting little, you know, spot breakouts or blemishes that pop up on my face. And I love it. So, I thought I would try this. I don't necessarily break out all over my body. I do tend to, like, break out sometime in the small of my back for some strange reason. And I have to go in and really, really go over it with acne treatment stuff just to get rid of that. But as far as, like, just breaking out, like, on my shoulders or ch anywhere, really, I really don't. Um, but I wanted to try this, like, on my lower back where I do tend to break out every now and then. I don't know what it is. Seems like during the summer and stuff, I break out more in the small of my back it's just weird so anyway i want to try this out and see if it helps i don't know how i'm gonna spray this on my back but <laughs> we go try it okay so yeah i'm curious about that i'm like you know what i'll try it i like their other acne treatment products so why not and then lastly this is why i made the order in the first place the only thing i wanted to grab um was this Elf Soft Glam Satin Foundation, medium, buildable coverage, long lasting, 1% hydrating hibiscus complex. Huh. Get buildable, just right coverage and a long wearing satin finish with a hydrating foundation that's anything but basic. So that's what that looks like. I know I've seen people using it on the tube, but I don't think I've actually watched any full-on videos, you know, dedicated to this. So we're going to see. And what shade did I get? I got 50 Deep Warm. Let me see if I can open this right quick without making a mess. Okay. So, I just put a little bit on my hand. So, yeah, I think that'll work. Honestly, I do. I think it'll work. It doesn't seem like, I mean, they had, like, decent shades, but it doesn't seem like they had, like, 5 million shades or whatever. But I don't remember. I just felt like this would be the right one for me. And I think it is. Hello. <laughs> Can you even tell where it is? I know it's right here. But, um, yeah, I think I picked the right shade. So if you are 
my complexion or you know like this color <laughs> then yeah you can try this shade because honey that is a really good match so yeah this is 50 deep warm okay all right that's it that is it that is all for my little haul um i'm sitting here um getting ready to watch and jeshka's um like new release video you know because when i tell y'all i am so out of the loop and i really don't be like just scrolling and looking all over instagram for new makeup because when i do that it just makes me buy stuff so i don't do that no more you know but i will watch the videos you know like i'll watch a jeshka um and I will watch uh, Beauty and the Frizz, you know. I will watch, you know, just basically them. Just to get an update on what's coming out and stuff. And I'm also sitting here. I just got my new <clears throat> Bath and Body Works little mailer thing, you know, with my coupons. I missed the one for June, but it's all good. And I went to go visit my girl DJ in Florida a couple of weeks back um she was celebrating her anniversary 10 year with her husband and did a ridiculous amount of shopping I did not need no bath and body works y'all but they was having a sale they had all these lotions and um what do you call them the body washes and body sprays it was only like $3.95 or something like that child so, thank goodness, you know, that I had enough room and weight left in my suitcase to be able to bring all that stuff home. But I was like, girl, you did not need that stuff. But I stocked up for show. But on this mailer, it looks like they have this new gingham glow. What is this? I don't know. It doesn't say exactly what it is, but that's what it looks like. It's like, is that just a glow thing for your body or something I don't know but I don't really wear like shimmery and glow stuff all over my body and then they are just listing all the different gingham um you know gingham scents of stuff that's out that you can purchase so that's exciting I might end up going and picking something else up just uh to try something out so yeah okay so anyway got that but yeah i'm excited to try this foundation you know what i might try this foundation out on my next makeup look which i'm probably going to do today i just need to figure out what palette i want to use and i'm gonna try this because yeah i'm liking the finish i'm liking it's like can you even see where it is you know, you probably can because this part of my hand is a little bit lighter. But it's right here. Do you see that finish? That is nice. Okay. So, excited to try that out. But anyway, just want to pop in, say hi, go through my little elf order with y'all, and I'll check y'all later. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Well, I sat down because I'm about to film a makeup video, and I got hungry. Child, I feel like I stay hungry. <laughs> but... I eat like a lot of small little snack type meals, you know, throughout the day. I won't say a lot, maybe two or three like snack type meals. Like I'm about to eat this little chicken soft taco. It has the tortilla, the little chicken, a little bit of cheese and the shredded cabbage or whatever. And some, what is it like cilantro cream sauce. I buy the family pack from Costco where they have the tortillas, the chicken, the cheese, the little cabbage and the limes and all that stuff in it. I buy one of those for like 17 bucks and it will last me like all week. <laughs> I eat like a, one taco a day or whatever in that mug, the little family pack will last me all week. Um, and they're really good. But yeah, so that's what I'm having right now for my, I guess it's brunch. <laughs> Cause I had coffee. And now I'm having this and it's so good. But like, you know, I don't cook a whole lot because it's just me and my husband and 
I don't eat a lot. A lot of times he'll be full from whatever he cooked at the studio and ate and things like that. So I really don't cook a whole lot because when I do, a lot of the food gets wasted because we just don't eat a lot at home. So when I do get hungry or I want something specific, I might order something from Uber Eats, you know, because I don't like to leave the house a lot, honey. When you leave the house, it's just like cha-ching, 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 cha-ching. Like, I really want to go to Ulta today, which I'm going to do. I'm going to go to Ulta because I want to see what's popping out there um, with makeup, if there's anything new that I want to grab. But whenever I leave the house, it's like I come back. I'm like, dang, I spent 200 300 Like, what did I even buy? Lord, don't let me go to Target, okay? So, yeah. But I do want to go to Ulta today. So I don't really like leaving the house a lot unless I'm just in the mood to spend money, honey, because that's just how it goes, okay? But so I end up ordering Uber Eats every now and again. And that stuff, you know, it's like a $15 minimum or whatever for free delivery. Um, and so you spend that plus the tip plus the tax, blah, blah, blah. It's like 20 bucks for just a cute little meal for, you know, one meal. And so I'd much rather spend $17 on a week of meals, <laughs> you know, for me a whole week. The little family pack of tacos will last, okay? Because I love me some tacos. I can eat them every day. So anyways, I sat down. I'm supposed to be doing a little makeup video because I want to play with this um, Harvest Moon palette. And so this is what I'm about to play with when I get back from Ulta. But um, I want to test out some new e.l.f. stuff that I got, you know, that I showed you guys. I want to test out this e.l.f. Um, is it a found? Yeah, it's a satin foundation, you know, the little primer stick and all that stuff. So I just want to see if there's anything else at Ulta that I want to try. I really want a new face powder. I really, really do want a new face powder. And, you know, because that's something that I really don't buy. I really don't switch out. I really don't try new ones. And when I do try new ones, I'm really not that impressed. But for some reason, I want to try a new face powder. So that's what I'm going to be looking for at Ulta. Maybe a new concealer. But other than that, um, you know, I already have new stuff to try. I'm going to try this new Fenty blush lighter thing. What is it? What do they call it? A glow lighter or something? A blush lighter. And then I got this Yummy Skin Low Lighter Highlighter, Cream Highlighter from Danessa Myricks that... I got that I want to try so I already have some other new items but yeah I want a new powder so I'm gonna go oh child listen this is my alarm going off right now because I was trying to decide am I going to purchase these cosmic brushes palettes okay is your girl purchasing them and hello I think I am. I think I am. These palettes are <sighs> so gorgeous. And it's just like, girl. Dang. It says I am in line to check out. I mean, they just dropped. It's 10 o'clock right now. The two new Cosmic brush Brushes palettes. Um... And dang, shipping, $16, three to 17 business days. Okay, girl, are you going to, does anybody have a, a code for me to save a few dollars? Oh, Annette, Annette's Makeup Corner. Okay, girl, come through with the discount code. Okay, so anyway, it's still expensive as hell. I'm buying both palettes and it's like $83. Sixteen dollars is for shipping. Chill. But I want these two palettes, okay? They're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. The like beautiful neutral one and then the blue tone one. I haven't really been super excited about no palette purchase in a while. So I'll go ahead and treat myself. All right. So yeah, alarm just went off. I got it. I'm good to go. Thank you, Camille, for your order. 
thank you for taking my $83 for these two palettes. <laughs> so, yeah, that's so funny. But, yeah, I don't know if you guys um, are even familiar with the palettes I'm talking about. I'm sure you are, okay? But, ciao. It's these. I got too much glare on this phone. But it's these two palettes right here. The neutral and the blue palette. It's so pretty. It's so pretty, honey. And your girl has got to have them. Yes, I'm sure I have these shades for sure, but hopefully they don't take forever to come, child. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> so that's so funny that I'm filming while my alarm went off, honey. That's what you gotta do, because these mugs will sell out on you, especially cosmic brushes. Oh, they always sell out, child always so i'm glad i got that but anyway i'm gonna eat my little lunch and then i'm gonna go to ulta and see what they got new and then film my makeup video yeah so i'll talk to y'all later Well, y'all, uh, $260 later, that's why I stay in the house, okay? Okay, you guys, so obviously I came home to do my little ultra haul with you guys. Okay, you guys, so obviously I came back home um, <laughs> because I couldn't really find anywhere where it was um, going to be bright enough you know, to really do a nice, good little car haul of my Ulta stuff with you guys. So, here we are, back at the ranch, okay? And I'll show you guys what I got from Ulta. Cha! That's why I don't leave the house. This is exactly why I don't leave the house, because $260 later, when I went in there to go find a, a new face powder... Make it make sense, okay? So, yeah, anyways. No car haul, but we can do a beauty room haul, okay, of what I got. So, I may as well show you this first thing. Oh, it smells so good. This first thing I got, because I just put some on my hands. This is the Hemp's Sweet Jasmine and Rose. Oh, my gosh. Child, this lotion smells so good. Oh, I love it. And this stuff is so expensive. I paid $27.99 for this. But it smells good. <laughs> and, it, and it works. It's really nice. It's plant, collagen, whatever. I don't know. But child, I had never smelled this one before. So I got that to kind of just leave in my beauty space because it's pink. It smells delicious. And it'll match my decor. So, and I just put on some of the e.l.f., this lip oil that I had bought, Jelly Pop Glow um, lip oil that I showed earlier from my e.l.f. haul, and it feels really good. I like it, okay? So, I'm thinking it's e.l.f. for the win at this point when it comes to lip oils because, honey, they can get pretty expensive from some of these other brands and I'm not here for it, not for no lip oil. So let's just start off with a couple of palettes that I bought. 
Now, I believe both of these palettes from ColourPop I had seen, but I couldn't find them. And I guess I needed to go to Ulta <laughs> to find them because I didn't see them on the website. Maybe I missed them. Maybe they were sold out when I was looking or whatever. Or maybe they were just specific to Ulta because I know ColourPop does that sometimes with some of their palettes. But this is the 1111 palette. And I saw um, a couple of people with this on the tube and I was like, I like that. It's very basic, very simple, but you guys know I'm in my cool tone era. I'm loving cool, just kind of easy breezy uh, eyeshadows. And this beautiful, to me, it's kind of romantic. It's, you know, it's kind of like a romantic feel to it. Very easy just very no muss no fuss but i feel like this will create a beautiful eye look i just feel like it would be like so sexy okay so i got that move this out of the way and then i got um this so elemental that's what the cover looks like that's pretty and once again beautiful blue cool tone shadows and shimmers i just like the the whole vibe of it i do i like the whole vibe i have so many super bold deep dark cobalt blue eyeshadows and stuff that this is very refreshing <laughs> very refreshing it just kind of reminds me of just like a beautiful like cool toned ocean just whatever it's just beautiful and then the last palette i got <laughs> grab this did not need it but it's the la girl four play eyeshadow palette and sorry about the glare but it's just four pans this beautiful teal color story what's the name of this hold on y'all let me see if this has a specific name for this color story um all nighter all nighter i'll have to break the seal because I can't get this open, so I'm sure there's a seal on here. But hopefully you guys can kind of see through the glare for the most part. Turn it to the side like this. But yeah, so those are the colors in there. So pretty, gorgeous teal um, color story. And I love it, okay? Very easy, you know? You only got four shadows, so it's like, <laughs> it's only so much you could do with it. So now let's just take a look um i picked up another foundation uh to try out this is the revolution skin silk luminous um serum foundation and <laughs> hello and i have the shade f 13.5 so i don't know if you can see that i like this bottle i like the frosted kind of like muted rosy tone you know it's like a muted dusty rose so and it has a pump so let me just show you it's kind of watery too so you see there how it has a little drip to it and this was the closest shade to my skin tone um but i i really do like the finish when i kind of tested it out in ulta i was like oh yeah i like that finish it is like a really nice kind of luminous type finish luminous type glow and i like this shade too actually it's really pretty so yeah we'll see um i'll leave that on my hand for now so we can see how that dries down but yeah so excited to try that i'm thinking it's gonna work out nicely just by how it looks on my hand i'm loving it already right um i picked up this elf power grip dewy setting spray and as you can see, it looks very, very familiar. <laughs> very familiar I actually have in my um, makeup right now, the Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray, okay? So uh, I don't know, y'all know Elf be trying to do different stuff. And I never tried this before, as you can see, I've used a good amount of this, but I grabbed this because I want to see, you know, how the e.l.f. one performs. It's summertime. It's a dewy setting spray. So, oh, and it says a shockingly fine mist. 
So hopefully I will like that because I do like really fine misters when I'm spraying my sprays. So yeah, what else did I get? Okay, so let's just take a look at, um, I got two more of the, oh, let me put this here. I got two more of the e.l.f. Uh, lip oils, <laughs> like the one that I just got in the mail and I put it on, I really like it. So I tried out, you know, two more shades. This one is the Coral Fixation and then the other one is just Crystal Clear. So I grabbed those two because I'm already liking them, already feeling them. So I'm like, may as well grab a couple more. And then while I was in there, I came across this Essence Hydra Kiss Lip Oil. And it was really pretty. <laughs> so I was like, oh, that's pretty. Let me try that. And it was only like four bucks. Can't beat it, right? So if I like this, then definitely will uh, purchase that again in the future because I actually really like lip oil. I like lip gloss, but sometimes when I just want something light on my lips throughout the day, uh, oil is nice. It's not as heavy as gloss, you know? So I love a good lip oil. I picked up these two lip products from NYX. It's NYX Lingerie Double XL. And so these are the two colors that I got. And they are both very very pretty they look exactly like they do um you know oop i'll put that on top of that foundation <laughs> ah! i didn't want to do that because i know that foundation is like luminous so let me put it somewhere else on my arm you know i don't think the foundation is going to dry down matte since it's luminous so i didn't want to put that on top of that foundation but let me show you what these two NYX lipsticks look like. So those are the two colors. Aren't those pretty? Chill. Look at that. Gorgeous. So yeah, I'm loving both of these. I'm not sure. Y'all know how my vision is. So let me see if I can get these. Um, this one says Peach Flirt. Peach Flirt, and this one is Jet Setter, it looks like. The darker one, Jet Setter and Peach Flirt. Child, these are gorgeous. These colors are right up my alley, so perfect for me. Let me wipe those off before I get them all over everything else. I'm gonna wipe this foundation off too just in case I swatch anything else. Okay, um, and then you guys know I said I wanted to get some powders. So I, <laughs> I grabbed a few powders, more than I meant to grab. I grabbed this Black Opal True Color Powder in Smoke and Topaz. So I felt like this was the closest shade that was in there for me. So yeah, we'll see how that works. Excited to try that. I got Essence Keep Me Covered Powder. And there's, this says vegan. So this is 90 dark. This one, I don't know. I'm not so sure about. But maybe. I don't know what y'all think. Maybe. It might. It might come off a little dark compared to my chest area. You know what I'm saying? But I think it'll, I think it'll be okay. I think, I think it'll be okay. And then... This Superstay 24 hour powder, I have a regular face powder in the Superstay from Maybelline and I really, really like it, but I got this one in the shade 340 because I wanted to try a lighter shade, which <laughs> is funny because it's looking like it's a, a close match to my chest, but I wanted to try a slightly lighter shade for under my eyes. So, um, dang, this glare is killing me. So, hmm, I don't know. I think this is just slightly lighter enough to set my, um, what do you call it? To set under my eyes when I do my concealer. But this is very close to my regular skin tone, but this is not dark enough for me to use as a setting powder. It's just not. So I'm hoping it just has a slight a bit of brightness under my eyes that it brings 
that out but yeah it's looking kind of close to my skin tone <laughs> so we'll see and then this one i'm hoping that um i don't regret getting this one because with ColourPop, their face powders it seems like i tried it in the past and it was like a little off you know the shade that was closest for me was like a little off like not warm enough or something or i don't know so this is deep dark 21 from ColourPop. And let me show you what this one looks like. And it comes with this little powder puff thing. But y'all see how dark? <laughs> and the next one up was too light. And the next one down, of course, was too dark. So I'm like, ah, this, I think it could work and be okay for my face during the summer. Like now, it looks like... I could do it but when you look at my chest like when I do my makeup you know I have to make my face match my chest you know whenever I have my chest out so this obviously looks a little bit deep a little bit dark for the chest okay so anyway we'll see we'll see you know it might be going back I don't really like to return makeup but if I have to, then I just have to. Okay, so next I have um, a blush. This other blush I have sitting over here, but that was in my previous haul. So I have this blush from Morphe. This one is the Euphoric Rush 3-in-1 Silk Blush in the shade Touched. I don't know... But anyway, this is what it looks like. It's pretty dark. Um, and I already swatched it. So <laughs> you can see my fingerprint in there. That's my swatch, okay? I didn't buy it like that. But yeah, it's um, it's pretty dark. It's just like a gorgeous, gorgeous, um, creamy, um, like plum shade. You see how gorgeous that is? Ooh, chow, that is pretty. And they actually sell these little finger applicators. They're really cute. Little applicators, you put your finger through the little strap in the back and you use these to tap the blush on your cheeks. So I think that was like a cute little way to create something else for us to buy, right? Because <laughs> it's totally unnecessary. You can use a beauty sponge, one of the little puffs you already have, whatever the case may be. But these are cute. You know, it has a little M on there for Morphe. So I bought this three pack, okay, before knowing that if you buy one of these, then when you go to check out, you get a free gift from Morphe, which is one of the same thing, the little puff that goes with it. So I didn't know that, but I just went ahead and kept the three as well. So, but yeah, that is really, really pretty. And then I just have two more items, you guys. I picked up this NYX Buttermilk Bronzer. I wanted one of their butter bl blushes or whatever, but the one I wanted, it was like a really pretty orangey peachy one, was sold out. Okay, it was the only one that was sold out, and that's the one I wanted as far as blushes go. But this one, this bronzer is in the shade butter than you <laughs> these names and it looks pretty dark but i think it's going to look nice on me now i did already swatch this as well so you can see my swatch in there i didn't buy it like that i swatched it already um and it's it's pretty deep it's pretty deep so i'm just hoping that it's not too deep to where it looks like you know contour on me shoot it's almost the same color as that blush <laughs> but as you can see it is pretty deep but I feel like you know if I use it sparingly it can carve out my face nicely I think um it feels really nice oh it feels really nice so I don't know we'll see Oh yeah, it feels really, really nice. But I feel like I will have to kind of go in very sparingly with it or else I could really look 
sunburnt. You know what I mean? So, yeah. It's really pretty if you like that type of thing. A lot of people don't like red tone, super deep red tone bronzers. I kind of like a more warm bronzer, but I can work with this, you know, depending on what type of look I'm going for. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. And then I think the last thing that I got was this e.l.f. Uh, Clear Brow and Lash Mascara Duo. So it looks like this. Let me turn it this way. It looks like this. And so it's like a two-ended pencil, but it is a clear, um, you know, liquid for your lashes and your brows. And it says here, this double-ended clear brow and lash mascara helps achieve healthy looking groomed lashes and brows. The clear mascara nourishes and enhances the look of the lashes and the brow gel helps to keep your brows in place. So that's really my main concern or focus is the brow one because I don't really do much with my lashes. You know, I wear false lashes now, so it's not a, you know, a big deal. But the brow part, I really want to see if it will hold them, help hold them down. So we shall see. But anyway, that's my whole haul, you guys, that I got from Ulta. And a clear example of why it is that I stay my behind in the house, okay? Because $260 later, here we are back in the makeup game, okay? <laughs> but I'm happy. I'm really excited to try out these new things on my face and let you guys know how I feel about them because... You know, I, I really try not to just buy a bunch of stuff that I know I'm not going to like and I know I'm not going to use. So I'm really particular nowadays with what I buy, you know, just trying to make sure that it's stuff that I feel like really is going to work for me. So we shall see. But anyways, that's it. I'll talk to y'all later. Tell you can barely even see it. You can barely even see it. It's giving, girl, you sitting on a stool today. <laughs> like, what? Child, it's definitely not giving beauty room glorious action, okay? I do like the fact that there's no arms, but child, look how low. Y'all can't even see, but look how low the back is. The back is not even a high back, you know, it's a low back. So anyway, the good news is, I mean, it's like I could return this if I wanted to. It is returnable. I hate returning stuff, especially putting stuff back in the big box, taking it apart. But um, I do need a more, um, how can I say, a chair that moves in my closet because the chair that I have in my closet now is just a regular straightforward static chair and this will go perfectly in my closet at my little vanity in my closet so I do like it for that because it it has to be a small chair that goes there this will fit there's no arms it's comfortable it moves but I was hoping it was going to be a nice big beautiful beauty room chair which it is not so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my closet and keep looking for another chair. <laughs> All right now, say bye to the people. Bye people. Hi people. We're back for now. So I'll just show you guys the little desk in my closet if you guys haven't seen it or don't remember where I'm talking about. See, I have this little vanity here in my closet where I had just a regular chair. And it actually, this actually fits perfectly here. So it works, you know, at this little vanity. So it works. It fits. It's not too big. It's a perfect size. It swivels and it's comfortable. So it works for there. The chair that I had um, in my closet was this one. So this is a nice chair, but um, 
I could definitely put it, you know, in a different bathroom or something. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to put it in a guest bathroom. Um, cuz I need a chair in there, so that'll work. We repurposed, but we definitely have to find another chair for our um beauty room. Anyway, enough of that. Have you guys tried, you know, the Jackie Ina scents? I really really like this one which I think is hard to get um, yeah it's hard to get I think that's my favorite and then after that it would be I am her which is this one so anyway I like them they all smell really good this one smells really good too the you remind me this one smells really really good so yep just walking by and want to know if y'all tried them so let me know <laughs> if you like them or not but anyways uh, i guess i'm gonna keep hunting for a freaking chair for this room so it's gonna be me and you old faithful until i find the perfect chair because ciao that was a joke just text i know it's a toss oh but i hate the fact that we lost such